Benjamin. Yes. Last year we saw you in, in Malmö and yeah, you won the final as well. Yeah. And now you're back here. Now friends. I'm back in the finals, yeah. Can, can you get used to this? Uh, no, <laughs> you, you, you can never get used to this. Uh, and like being on this stage is amazing every time, so yeah. So is it different this time to to be on this stage and being in the competition where you've done it before? Mm, yeah, it's always different because you always have a new song and you uh, you always feel like you are utvecklas. Um, uh, You're developing. I'm developing, yeah. yeah. So every time when I'm on this stage, even if it's like five minutes after, I feel that I'm getting better and better and more comfortable. Nice. Yeah. So um, you said that this song was Wrote, written uh, while you were heartbroken, yeah, like Good Loving was. Exactly, yeah. But now you're not heartbroken anymore. I'm not heartbroken I guess. anymore. No, I have my girlfriend back, like the back. same girlfriend that I wrote Good Love into and yeah. Dance You Off. So, Dance You Off was like kind of the part two story of, mm. of Good Loving. Uh, so that was pretty fun that I did Melody Festival in mm. the second year with the yeah, second, yeah. like the part two. So, so part three. Part three next year. No, I don't know. No, we'll but see. It, it you can never say never. Be Melody Festival. No, exactly. It can just be the part, the part three. Yeah. Yeah, but maybe it's been two years with very well. It's still positive, but yeah. still it's heartbroken. Yeah, yeah. I always, I almost like always write heartbroken songs or sad songs. Yeah, yeah. But they sometimes have some up tempo vibes in the production or the melodies and stuff. But it's good to know that you're not sad. <laughs> I'm not sad. I'm not sad, man. <laughs> <laughs> no bitter lullaby. Yeah. Um, and I wanted to say to you, if mm -hmm. I ever need to build a grill, okay, I'm gonna ask you. <laughs> and I think you know what I'm talking yeah, yeah, about. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Because I've seen a show. Oh. Well, I, yeah. I guess it's it's your mom's show. Yeah. But exactly, still, yeah. you play a big part of it, and uh, it's very close to you. Yeah. Uh, Valgrens Vat. Yeah, Valgrens Vat. Yeah. Yeah. The world of Valgren. Kind of. Yeah. 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 So. Uh, your family means a lot to you, I guess. Uh, yeah, like yeah. everyone's family, they, they mean a lot to me. Uh, I have a different kind of thing though, because we have this reality show, so... Uh, you're talking about this trip to Italy when I had the privilege to fix a grill or something. <laughs> I was gonna build a grill. Yeah. And, and I'm not that, like, what do you say, technical? Well, you that managed. technical guy, and I managed, so um, I'm very pleased and yeah. happy with that. But uh, well, the, the funniest scene is where your mom is driving the, the camber. Oh yeah, and we were like this close <laughs> to just crush. And, and I, I was thinking, oh, you look so cool. You're sitting next to her, just looking at your phone, and then yeah. you just shout something. Yeah, like, I don't know. <laughs> I know. I, I I'm a bit embarrassed of that clip, but uh, yeah, it, it's it me. And, yeah, it's fun. We're all. We're all people in the end. <laughs> and today I saw it's a Women's International uh, yeah. Day today, and I saw you posted something on Instagram yeah. with the women that means a exactly, lot to you. yeah, yeah. And I guess that's a part of a good, uh, real uh, subject you care about. Oh yeah, no, yeah, of course. Like for me, it's obvious mm -hmm. that you should care about stuff like that, and because I have friends that are guys that don't think like me, and you have to be. Uh, what do you say? Um, uh, role model. A role model, yeah, for them because we're living in a world where guys are like assholes sometimes. Just yeah, we see that. Their uh, minds. It's a big trend right now. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and I'm having this one that I think it's beautiful. Ah. So yeah, no, it's just like uh, it's just you should every guy should yeah. be thinking like this. I'm not like me, but like every everyone should think a step forward before they say something or do something they shouldn't. And you roll the dice as well yeah. with that one. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Your lucky charm. Yeah, my lucky yeah. charm. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we're getting very close to uh, performing on Saturday now. Yeah, yeah, we are. And uh, what do you do right before you go on stage? Uh, I'm. I think I'm praying, and I'm drinking some water, and I'm breathing very, like, what do you say? <sighs> very controlled. Controlled. Yeah. And then. I just sing like, mm, and then I go up on stage. And then you can hit those high notes. Exactly, yeah, so I'm just a bit ready. Yeah. So we are looking so much forward to seeing you on stage Thank as you well so much. because you are one of uh, the favorites. I, I've heard that, yeah. Yeah, you've heard that. Do you, yeah. do you care? Uh, yeah, of course I care. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a great thing to hear, but um, I just don't hope that people are getting like 
disappointed whatever happens and I hope that people vote for me if they like my number and uh, I just hope that my career after this uh, are getting good as well as good as this competition yeah, we cross our fingers for that yeah we do the best of luck